Well, Mark, Jordan back from 2-0 down to beat Hong Kong. Uh, Jordan, a little fist pump at the end there. Yeah, well, that's just typical Northern Ireland style. Uh, we all get behind each other, no matter what sport we're in. Um, just pure grit and determination. It wasn't pretty by any means, but it doesn't need to at this tournament. Were you expecting that sort of quality from your opponents today? Uh, very impressed with the young kid. Obviously, being not on tour, and he handles himself very, very well. And yeah, he looks a great prospect. But yeah, just come back to us. We dug in really, really well, considering we made a lot of mistakes ourselves in the first two frames to go two 0 down. It was looking bleak, but we dug in, and you no know, proud of Jordan to get over the line for us in the end because he played a perfect frame, really. Of course, Mark, you've got the, the, the two World Cups under your belt before, but um, Jordan, this is your first uh, amazing experience for you back on tour and, 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 and having this kind of experience is uh, really beneficial for you. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's, just, just, it's just great to be here, uh, competing just for your country. I'm a very proud Northern Irish man, so uh, yeah, it's a great feeling. And uh, you guys, of course, are in the, the group of death. There's uh, some, some really real, real toughies in, in your group. Yeah, there is. Obviously, there's probably five teams that could qualify. Uh, I think... On paper, it's safe to say Saudi Arabia are the weakest team, but they're proving today that they're capable. They're two 0 up against Iran, so look, anything could happen in this group. We're going to probably have to win all five matches to get through, especially losing a couple of frames there today. But uh, yeah, we'll probably have to win all five to get through. Uh, Mark, you're used to playing for big prize money. Uh, there's lots of prize money on, on offer this week. Uh, Jordan keeps reminding me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't really look at it too much, to be honest. You're, you're here to represent your country. We do it with pride, and you know, if we can win the tournament for Northern Ireland, then the money's a big bonus. And what do you make of Wushu as a city? You've been here before. Um, it's, it's a fantastic place, isn't it? We've, we've had beautiful weather already. It's uh, raining outside today, but it's, it's a beautiful city. Yeah, and to be honest, it's, it's always nice here, and the people are so welcoming. Uh, a few English restaurants wouldn't go miss, but that, obviously that's all spoiled, being from the UK. But look, it is what it is. You have to get on with it and make the most of it. And no, as I said before, the best part about Wushu is the people. They're so, so friendly, and they've welcomed us with open arms. Next opponent's Republic, so uh, thoughts ahead of that one? <laughs> yeah, uh, tense rivalry there, no, it's, um, we get on really well with Ken and Fergal, it's just going to be the, maybe the best team win, uh, but it's going to be it's going to be a cracking game, like I say, the, the group of death is going to throw up a lot of good matches, a lot of close frames, so uh, we're expecting another tough battle against the Republic, yeah. Those guys said their prep was Guinness and mojitos, uh, is it different for you guys? I w that must be me mean Ken was drinking Guinness and mojitos, because Fergal doesn't touch a drop. Uh, <laughs> We'll maybe t try and drag them down to our level tonight and get them in the bar, but we'll see how it goes. Best of luck, guys. Thank Cheers, you. Sam.